US President Joe Biden is speaking at the moment. Let's go straight to him. About your future, I promise you. Trump is now promising a full-scale campaign of revenge and retribution, his words, for some years to come. They were his words, not mine. He went on to say he'd be a dictator on day one. I mean, if I were writing a book of fiction, I said an American president said that. And not in jest. He called in, I quote, the termination, quote, this is a quote, the termination of all the rules, regulation, and articles, even those found in the U.S. Constitution, should be terminated if fits his will. It's really kind of hard to believe. Even found in the Constitution, he could terminate? He's threatened the former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff with the death penalty says he should be put to death because the chairman put his oath to the Constitution ahead of his personal loyalty to Trump. This is coming from a president who called, when he visited his cemeteries, called dead soldiers suckers and losers. Remember that? Sometimes I'm really happy the Irish of me can't be seen. <laughs> it was right around the time I was at Bo's grave, Tommy. How dare he? Who in God's name does he think he is? With former aides, Trump plans to invoke the Ins Insurrections Act, the Insurrection Act which would allow him to deploy, which is not allowed to do in ordinary circumstances, allow him to deploy U.S. military forces on the streets of America. He said it. He calls those who oppose him vermin. He talks about the blood of America as being poisoned, echoing the same exact language used in Nazi Germany. He proudly posts on social media the words that best describe his 2024 campaign, quote, revenge, quote, power, and quote, dictatorship. There's no confusion about who Trump is, what he intends to do. I placed my hand on our family Bible, and I swore an oath on the very same steps of the Capitol just 14 days after the attack on January the 6th. As I looked out over the capital city, whose streets were lined with National Guard to prevent another attack, I saw an American that had been pushed to the brink, America that had been pushed to the brink. But I felt enormous pride, not in winning, I felt enormous pride in America, because American democracy had been tested American democracy had held together. And when Trump had seen weakness in our democracy and continued to talk about it, I saw strength, your strength. It's not hyperbole, your strength, your integrity, American strength and integrity. Ordinary citizens, state election officials, the American judicial system had put the Constitution first and sometimes at their peril at their peril. Because of them, because of you, the will of the people prevailed. Not the anger of the mob or the appetites of one man. When the attack on January 6th happened, there was no doubt about the truth. At the time, even Republican members of Congress and Fox News commentators publicly and privately condemned the attack. As one Republican senator said, Trump's behavior was embarrassing and humiliating for the country. But now that same senator and those same people have changed their tune. As time has gone on, gone on, politics, fear, money, all have intervened. And now these MAGA voices 
who know the truth about Trump on January 6th have abandoned the truth and abandoned the democracy. They made their choice. Now the rest of us, Democrats, independents, mainstream Republicans, we have to make our choice. I know mine, and I believe I know America's. We'll defend the truth, not give in to the big lie. We'll embrace the... There he is, the U.S. President Joe Biden, speaking on the third anniversary, of course, of uh, the riots that we saw in Washington.